crossing the street on their way to Black Hawk Middle School last school year. The city of Fort Wayne promised to install a light at the intersection, but it wouldn't be up for this year. It won't be up, excuse me, for this year's class of students. Fox 55's Brianna Bias tells us where they are with those plans. Near Black Hawk Middle School, crossing the street is not as simple as just looking both ways first. Two kids were struck here over the course of the last school year, even though they did everything they were supposed to do. It was really traumatic, and I just, I don't want it to happen to one of mine. Parent Cody Harley has two kids going to Black Hawk this year, but they won't be walking. She drives as many kids as she can. There's um, a few other kids that live in the neighborhood that are friends with my daughter, and one of them goes to school with my son. Um, if I see them or if they ask me, I take them too. Because even with a crossing guard on the East State Boulevard and Bushy Drive intersection, Sergeant Jeremy Webb says it's still dangerous for kids to cross the street. It's speed. It's, you know, people are on their way to work. I get it. And, uh, and, and and just aren't vigilant of what's going on. The city of Fort Wayne committed to installing a traffic light there earlier this year, but traffic engineer Kyle Windling says they didn't have it in the budget in time for this school year. He says it'll probably be 2024 before we see a new traffic light. I hope that it's sooner than later because it's not going to get better without a light or something. Webb says the city is still seven crossing guards short, so they'll have to post police officers at the crosswalk instead. And when you're at the crosswalks or schools, you have to slow down because kids are unpredictable. We've even had kids get, get uh, hit by a car when we do have a crossing guard. So until the city has the budget to install a light, Webb urges drivers to be extra attentive and drop their speed near the school. In Fort Wayne, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News. But Webb says they don't have the manpower to keep police officers at every vacant crosswalk, so they'll have to prioritize the busiest ones, and he hopes they'll get more people to apply to be crosswalk guards soon.